At his Granville Island longhouse, Haida Carver Clarence Mills is nearing the end stages of an innovative project that's been in the works for years. Out of windfall from Stanley Park in 2006, Mills is carving a one-of-a-kind 360-degree totem pole. We've chosen to leave it in the round because no one else has made one like this before. So, you know, this is was built for Bill Reed, Spirit of Haida Gwaii, that's at the airport now. So, um, the wood was donated by Parks Vancouver Parks Board after the storm, so I'm lucky to get these. These are some of the biggest pieces and um, turn it into some nice artwork and the Parks Board has donated a couple of more pieces, so not, it's getting better. Mills, who's been carving since he was 15, is completing the 13-foot totem for Jim White, who commissioned the project as a donation to Oregon State University. They're building this new cultural or heritage center in the university or at the university, so Jim's um, thought that this would be an appropriate place for it. Mills, who is using a variety of tools to carve the one-of-a-kind totem, says his inspiration for the project came from a friend who carved a miniature 360-degree totem for him as a gift. Although the project has taken four years, Mills says he couldn't be happier to be working in the longhouse that was originally built for renowned Haida artist Bill Reed. Yeah, I know, and you know, it, it doesn't matter how bad of a day you're having in the longhouse, you know. It's just neat, to get, you're in daylight, it could be blowing like heck out there, but, you know, staying dry in here. I wouldn't say warm, but dry has worked out for me. Mills says the totem is now 80% complete and is aiming to have it finished by the fall. Devin McKenzie, Link Air Voice.